All right, we're back with a new long form video. Today we're gonna to be summoning an ultra golden freezer. I grinded up a thousand chrono crystals. Surely I bought him. I don't want to see no green skies. I want a good animation. Oh my god! All right, guys, I'm back with a new video. Today we're gonna to be talking about why Dragon Ball Legends is dying. I'm gonna keep it simple, short. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Let's get straight into it. Okay, number one overpowered characters or just a general lack of balance in this game as you know there are two characters that are leagues above the rest of the game them being ultra super saiyan 2 gohan and legends limited super 17. let's start with gohan okay he has a counter unique gauge a counter blue card and he has an aoe green card okay you can't attack him he's just so dumb and alongside super 17 where you just press blasts and just win okay it's a bad environment for the game i despise it and the funny thing is when they try and make a new counter to a character they just end up making another problem and ultimately it just goes in a cycle over and over again on to the next point the summoning system if you're a play to win or free to play i think everyone can agree that the summoning system needs to be revamped i've seen other gacha games they have at least one percent for the new character or something like that why is Legends doing 0.5% for a new Legends Limited character and 0.35% for an Ultra? It's just insane. The only solution to this, increase the summon rates and give better pity rewards and it's just better for everyone. Okay, I don't think anyone was expecting this one but Legends ranking, there's just this one bit. You can get points for summoning. You can get Legends ranking points for summoning. Why? Obviously that means if you're free to play you can't make it to the top ranks in Legends ranking because you can't summon Most of these people they have so many points because they summon a lot That's pretty much all I have to say Next point Equipment Equipment grinding in this game is horrible The rates from getting from a Z to whatever the hell this is Is not even worth it most of the time because it's not even a huge boost in stats and it's just there for your own satisfaction Not to mention the overwhelming amount of resources it takes as well Number 5 Underdeveloped game modes and features a very good example of this is the guild feature yes i do know they're adding some new showdown battle system to the guild mode um so i won't uh judge harshly on that but another one is co-op co-op i hate co-op so much it's it's by far the worst game mode in this game and i'm sure a lot of people can agree as well a problem the game has with implementing new game modes or features into already existing ones is that they have good ideas and a lot of people can see what they're going with but they just fail to implement it properly the execution is not right an example of this is the recent uh rating match proud system where you bring in six battle members into the fight a lot of people did not like this for some reason i see why they didn't like it i sort of enjoyed it but i was forced to use gt the entire time again with this they talked about in their reveals and stuff they put social media posts out uh people it made people hype for it but that it was just a bad game mode in general I'm pretty sure a lot of people can agree with me when I say that co-op is a bad game mode. It's horrible, okay? No one likes to play it, it's just a chore at this point for daily missions or other uh, excessive missions that you need to do. They did sort of revamp it by adding another character that you can use in battle, uh, changing the element of the boss, but it's just a bad mode. I don't enjoy it, but you know what they should do? Get rid of it and just keep raids give a raid every two weeks you get a thousand crystals you get other rewards as well you could put a free to play event exclusive character z power into it whenever they drop one it's just way better in every sense number six the story mode i'm convinced at least 70 percent of people don't even read the story mode and they just do it for the crystals they complete it for the crystals because why else i mean me personally i read the entire thing because the devs went out of their way to do it but from part 1 to part 14 or 15, wherever it's at right now, I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. There's no plot, like real plot behind the story. It's just put random stuff into one thing and then just hope it goes together. Even with Super Saiyan Blue Shallot, that was not hype. I think, I just feel like they just did it so people would stop asking. 
it didn't feel hype they didn't add a new green card to him no they just gave him a unique gauge that's it number seven arts boosting if you want to waste your resources you've come to the right place because arts boosting is where it's at to arts boost one character is at least a billion zenny the arts boost cause doesn't make it any better 30 percent to increase by one level i don't know why they have this stupid thing where the first level is 0 to 30 then the second level is 30 to 70 and the last one is 70 to 99 why don't they just all make it 33 for each level it just evens out like that can we talk about how zenkai characters have gone generations from being actual good units to now being bench buffers there are a few exceptions with uh, red revival cell i uh, can't really think off the top of my head but you get it. um they need to be good again they have fallen off recently after when they made uh zenkai characters free to play by completing the events but they need actually need to be competitive because i hate fighting the same characters over and over again and there's another problem i have is where you don't update z abilities for any zenkai characters so you have a character with a good zenkai ability but their z ability is garbage and it doesn't work as well you have to build your team differently and yeah i know there are a lot of other problems that people have in the game so i want you guys to comment down below what they are i know i could have made this at least a 30 minute video if i wanted to but i wanted to keep it somewhat short if you feel like i made any mistakes or anything like that just comment it and i'll try to respond but yeah that's the video there might be a drop in uploads as well so just letting you guys know but i'll be back soon anyways i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video